Uh, Craig, let's uh, turn and talk a little bit about the personal life of shepherds. Uh, you did something I don't know that I've ever seen done, and, it, and, and I really like the way you did it. In your book, you take the verse of Luke 2, 52, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. And you uh, took four of those words or those four things and identified them as representing different types of health. He grew in wisdom, mental health, stature, physical, favor with God, spiritual, favor with men, social or emotional. Uh, those four different types of health, if I can say it that way, uh, Jesus was healthy in that way, and shepherds need to be as well. Yes. And, and again, I think that Luke, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I think that there was, it, it is on purpose that, that that health is laid out that way. I think it does start with our mind. If we're not processing and thinking in the right way, then the, the next steps, our, our physical health, our spiritual health, our uh, emotional health is not going to be uh, in the right vein because we're not thinking the right way. So I think we need to start there. I also think about physical health. You know, if you um, ever ask somebody for a description of Jesus, um, I'm going to guess that not very often will you hear somebody say that he was healthy. But um, I think about the end of Jesus's life as he's heading towards the cross, the horrific uh, physical toll that that took on his body. And what if he wasn't physically strong enough to make it all the way to the point where he could say it is finished? And so there, there had to be that preparation, I think, of his physical body. Wow, yeah. Then I also, I, I find it very intriguing, too, that the next step is spiritual health, because I would have, in my mind, I would have picked that as sort of the pinnacle, you know, the, we say the spiritual man. But, but the, the pinnacle, I think, really is, because this is where the, the rubber meets the road, so to speak, is this emotional health or this social health, how you interact with other people. That's how we really know that there's been this transformation in our life and that we are holy, healthy people, holy, healthy shepherds is that, um, you know, uh, being around sheep, I've learned that they bite, um, they buck, they, they, uh, knock you around a little bit. They, um, maybe don't express gratitude as much as you would think that they should. And so it's really, if we're not healthy all the way through, our reactions at that time are not going to be very Christ-like. But when you look at the life of Jesus, you never see him going back to somebody and saying, hey, I apologize, I misspoke back there, or I didn't treat you very well. We never see him apologizing. His reactions were always perfectly uh, in line with, with his godly character. And that's where I think becomes the ultimate peak of our health, is that our reactions are uh, really Christ-like. 